In this video, I'm going to go ahead and continue my series on exact values of trig functions. And we have here the sine of 78 degrees. And so we're going to find the exact value for the sine of 78 degrees by using the sum identity for sine. And so we need two angles, A and B, that add up to 78 degrees. And then we're going to use this expansion here, the sine of A, which is that first angle, times the cosine of B, which is the second angle, plus the sine of B times the cosine of A. So two angles that are going to be nice to use and that add up to 78 degrees. Let's go ahead and use 60 degrees and 18 degrees. And you'll notice up here in blue, I have a couple of values of sine that we're going to employ in this process. And these two values of sine have been uh, previously found from scratch in other videos. And so those links to these two videos in particular are down below in the description for this video. So you can find how uh, I went about finding the exact values for these. And I will say that these two videos are probably more interesting than, say, this video, because these were found from scratch uh, using polynomial equations and roots, uh, while the sine of 78 degrees is just going to employ this uh, sum identity. But nevertheless, you'll still have the exact value here, and it'll be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this expansion. It's the sine of that first one, which is 60 degrees times the cosine of 18 degrees plus the sine of 18 degrees times the cosine of 60 degrees. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. So the sine of 60 degrees, well that's really nice, that's the square root of 3 over 2 times the cosine of 18 degrees. Well, uh, a couple of things here. One, we don't really know what the cosine of 18 is, but we do know that sine and cosine have a nice relationship where the cosine of one angle, in this case 18 degrees, is the same as the sine of the complement of this angle. So the complement of 18 will be 72 because 72 plus 18 adds up to 90 degrees. All right, so instead of using a cosine of 18 degrees, we'll use the sine of 72, but you know, actually these are the same exact values anyway. And the reason I'm gonna make this exchange is because the videos for the sine of 18 and 72 have already been worked out uh, explicitly there. So we'll go ahead and put that square root of two over four multiplied by that radical expression. And to this product, we'll add the sine of 18 degrees, which is this one fourth times the square root of 5 minus 1 times the cosine of 60 and of course that's just 1 half. Okay, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and take a moment and kind of clean that up a little bit. It looks like out front I can go ahead and multiply these fractions together and I'll have the square root of 6 over 8 multiplied by this square root expression and to that we'll add it looks like 1 fourth times a half we'll make a 1 8th and then multiplied by the square root of 5 minus 1. Okie dokie. So here is this expression. It's going to be just the sum, you'll notice, of a couple of irrational values. And so there's no decimals, no rounding. This is the exact value for the sine of 78 degrees. And you see how we went ahead and did this. So let's grab a calculator and kind of just ensure that, uh, you know, this works. Okay, so here's our calculator. So let's go ahead and do the inverse of sine, and we'll throw this expression in, and hopefully we get, you know, 78 degrees. So we'll start out with uh, the square root of 6 divided by 8, and to that we're going to multiply this square root expression here. And then we will add to that 1 8 being multiplied by the square root of 5, minus 1, and close up all those parentheses, and we get, yeah, 78 degrees. So we can see then that this irrational expression is going to give us the exact value for 78 degrees, and that's the sine of that angle, of course. And we went ahead and used the sum identity for sine and employed a couple of values that we found in previous videos. Once again, uh, you can find links to these videos down below in the description for this video.